Mad Max 6. Uh, we are back in California. I have the great pleasure to have yet again on JTV the queen of fitness, my good friend, <laughs> Oksana Grishina. Oksana, welcome back to JTV. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> hey, guys, so nice to see you back in California. And yeah, it's always nice to, you know, to see you, my friend. It's it was fun. way long overdue. The last time we saw each other was in December in Florida at the Olympia. And I can't believe it's almost Olympia time again. I think we're about seven weeks out, just about seven yeah. weeks out from the Olympia. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. I wanted to give the fans on JTV a little um, uh, update with you because a, a lot has been happening. We haven't really been talking since your big return to the Olympia. So I want to talk about, you know, your little time off from the stage, um, even though you were very busy. And then, uh, you know, your Olympia last year. So tell me a little bit, how was it after, I think you were off the stage for about two years. How was it to come back to the Olympia last year after that time off? It was so touching. I know how to explain it. You know, when you performer and you miss performance, performing, and coming back on such a big stage, it's beautiful. And not as guest performer, but as competitor, it's total different. And being in great shape, and it's, oh my God, it's just so much fun, you know. And see the audience, see the response, you know, to what you do, it just, it was absolutely touching. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I was going to ask you, that was going to be my next question. How did you feel the fan received you? They must have missed you. I know I missed you from not competing, so I was so excited for you to come back. How was the response from the fans to you? I'm sure you got tons of messages and a DM and all that stuff uh, before and after the show. How were your fans uh, about your return? Well, they got crazy, you know. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and... Until the end, they couldn't believe I'm going to come back, you know, and I said, listen, I gave you my promise and I will come back no matter what. So, uh, and yeah, it was, it was amazing. I mean, I love my fans and thank you so much, everyone, for your support. Like, I, you know how much I love you and everything I do, I do for you. So, thank you. It must feel really good to feel so appreciated and so loved. You are loved by, uh, by uh, so many yeah, so many people around the world in bodybuilding and fitness. And uh, yeah, so that's, um, I was really glad you came back. I thought you should have won. I'm just putting that out there. I'm very biased. I thought you were unbeatable in the routine. You got second place. I was still happy, but you came. Uh, I would have loved for you to get that, f that fifth title. So you, just to kind of re remind people, you've actually won the Olympia four times in 10 Arnold Classic total, eight in Columbus, Ohio. Is that correct? Yes, yes. General, if you count all international Arnold's, yes. it's 10 total. But in a higher, it was four. So four, and it's going to be my eighth Arnold Classic in Ohio. So okay. I'm so I'm so excited, you know, because Arnold is a very special place for me. And that's where I got my first title, like big title. And yeah, and I'm just uh, preparing, you know, routine. And that's what motivated, motivated me. And that's what drive me, you know, to perform and to compete at the Arnold and Olympia this year. I love the routine you did, the Transformer routine last year. I think it was very creative. It was very, it was <laughs> awesome. But you told me, I think after the show, that that wasn't the first plan. You had something else mm -hmm. planned for the Olympia, and that didn't work out. Can you tell that story now? Yes, well, originally Olympia is supposed to be in Las Vegas. Yes. So, and then because of pandemic, they have to change venue uh, to Florida. Mm -hmm. And of course, I have to change my plans. I have to change my routine. And it was like four, f three weeks before the show. I couldn't believe it. I'm like preparing for so long, give my promise to my fans and not coming on stage because, you know, in fitness, I'm sure guys would understand like four weeks, you're ready, ready. You're ready to go because you work on your stamina. There is nothing like nothing you can change. I mean, small changes, yes, mm -hmm. but not like completely. So, and well, I, I have to change the plan. I have to change um, routines, some, some lines still the same, but you know, you have to practice, time to practice. So it was, uh, I take it as a challenge, you know, for yeah. myself. I'm like, okay, let's see if I can do it. And we start to work three times more, <laughs> you know, every day at the gym. So, yeah, and, uh, you know, during pandemic, all gyms was closed, which was by where we live. So we have to drive like 50, 
one yeah. hour almost uh, yeah. from our place and train. Yes, but so when I did this routine, yeah. and I did, I know I did well, you know, everything was right, floor was great, stage beautiful, audience, everything was clean, my stamina was on point. I was like, oh my God, that was my personal victory, Dave. I was like, <laughs> yes, that's it, you know. And yeah, I'm glad that uh, watching routine after, I got in love this in this routine, you know. I was like, wow, this is really cool, you yes. know. For such a short time, I mean, it's really awesome. I, I loved it, yeah. So during that two years break that you didn't compete, um, was it, did you feel like this prep last year was actually harder than you remember it to be? Because, you know, sometimes when... And, and like yeah. again, you were so uh, busy all the time and you were always working. You kept, you kept doing your, 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 your gymnastic all the time. It's not like you yeah. stopped completely. Right. But did you feel like prepping for this Olympia again, did you feel it was harder than it was a couple of years back? Well, with age, it's always harder, definitely harder. And, but th I have never stopped, like you said. Yeah. I always was at the gym. And I told you, I think, before, I don't believe in coming back when you not work out, when you're not practicing, especially it's fitness. You mm -hmm. have to be at the gym and practice all the movements and improve or learn something new all the time. So this, it wasn't that hard for me because I was always at the gym during my break time. And, but definitely with age, you know, some issue injuries and the something. knee you had hurt your knee shortly before yes. right yes. <laughs> it was serious yes. yeah it was first serious uh, injury and you know i just i just i just found the way to work out yes i know i'm not capable to do uh, I'm not supposed to do what I'm doing now, guys. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I found the way to practice and just control my knee every time. You know, that's why I always want to make sure that floor is safe where I practice my routine so I can control it, you know. And of course, it's extra thought all the time in my head about my knee, but yeah. it's all fear. Yeah. You know, when you got injury, I'm sure, guys, you understand when you got injury once you're always thinking always about around. it yeah. so and you can't just go go it away so i'm trying i'm trying hard you know to just you know enjoy what i'm doing on stage enjoy my routine yeah but it's take a lot of a lot of work <laughs> talk to me a little bit about how you got through the the, the lockdowns and the pandemic because i think it was a challenge for all of us mm -hmm. to mentally and physically luckily you were able to find a gym with that good uh you were able to train at our good friend scott mendelson yeah. give you a place to train close to home right. but you had to drive a lot further to go do your routine but mentally how did you handle the pandemic how were you able to stay positive and keep going and move forward i had more worse time in my life so it wasn't that bad i mean it wasn't really it i i i I accept it as challenge, you know, yes, it's, it wasn't life before, it's different, but I just want to thank everyone who helped me, you know, during this time and opened their door for the gym for me to practice and get ready for routine. Of course, Scott Mendelssohn, Madhouse Gym, uh, guys, you're amazing and thank you so much. But again, yes, it's, it's tough time for everyone, but coming from Russia and I, I had more difficult time you know when i used to live there so it it it, it doesn't really affect me mentally it so just gave me more strength oh wow oh my god it gives you know us understanding how much we haven't appreciate what we have what we had you know and it's just yeah it's yeah it's just it depends from us how we accept it what a good way to look at it that's that's great how was boris Boris is always positive. <laughs> <laughs> right? He's the best man, you yeah. know. <laughs> He's always yeah. in a good mood. Absolutely, yeah. yes, yes. He's huge support. He's yeah. uh, he's everything for me, you know. He, I just, I, I just, there's no words, you <laughs> know. We are just like one, one, yeah. one piece, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Um, so you've had a lot of projects. You have, uh, you were telling me you have shows you're working on. Uh, are you still doing the pole competition and all that stuff? Or uh, tell me what's been the project for yeah, you. Yeah, well, originally we did pole championship yeah. at the Olympia when it was in Las Vegas. And it makes sense because, you know, a lot of pullers in Los Angeles and yeah. Las Vegas, 
Now, uh, there wasn't big expo last year right. at the Olympia, so I still want to see how it's going to be, where the stage will be, so just to make sure competitors safe okay. of what they're doing, because it's, you know, it's very risky sport, yeah. and what they do, I, as promoter, I have to make sure they safe yeah. first. So, yeah, but during pandemic, we did two show in Russia, bodybuilding fitness, uh, NPC worldwide, and one regional show in Moscow, and one pro qualifier in Kaliningrad talking about it. I'm like, I can't even believe it's <laughs> happened. And oh my God, it was absolutely amazing. It's, you know, uh, being promoter in this business, I didn't expect it would be that tough, and it's huge competition. Uh, I mean inside, but yes, we did it with positive team, positive energy, athletes were absolutely thankful and I want to th give special thanks to Mr. Jemenian for give us this opportunity because athletes are extremely thankful and they, that's where they want to compete, you know, that's the only way to the Olympia and that's what all athletes dreaming about and we had amazing show pro qualifier in Kaliningrad, my home city, and it was beautiful because the venue is uh, amazing, right on Baltic Sea. And I know that many athletes was coming back after the show just to have vacation and some athletes moved to my city. Wow. I was like, no, it's my <laughs> city. <laughs> Don't touch it. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I hope maybe someday you will come because, wow. yes, we're planning to do uh, next pro qualifier in Kaliningrad. When will that be? When is the next May show? May 21st, 2022. Okay. Yes. So, and yes, even Russian people, you know, they live in Russia and they come to my city and they said, wow, what's a beautiful city. Yeah. So, and some athletes, I know they moved to Kaliningrad. How, how is it to go back home to where you came from? as the queen of fitness and i'm sure when you go back over there your people must be so proud of you first of all but to also to to bring the bodybuilding world over there and like a renowned show like that they must be uh, so excited are they how are you treated when you go back and you bring all it's, that stuff it's so hard to you know explain it it's just it's an it, it's in indescribable feelings my mom my dad was in audience and uh, you know, athletes were so thankful, and they so amazing. Russian athletes, absolutely amazing. But I was so busy. You know, it's busy time when everything on you, all production, judges, everything. Like you have to make sure everything goes smooth and every athlete happy. You know, nothing happens, and you know, just make sure the audience happy. And yeah, I was so busy, and we haven't really time to think about. To it. enjoy it. Yes, to <laughs> enjoy it. But after I said, I'm going to the beach and I was just like, I'm going to lay down and just sleep. Yeah, no, it was, yes, it was Im talking right now. I just really, I got even emotional because it was beautiful show and athletes absolutely, you know, doing something good for them and really taking care of them and helping them with their goals. Because I know there's a lot of great future, possibly Changing. Olympian, yeah. you know, who knows? Because... It was tough competition, bikini, classic physique, a lot of amazing guys. And what most important, what touching me that they, it reminds about my story because right now during this pandemic, they can't travel. The, it's impossible. They may be great athletes, but they can't travel to compete at some, uh, you know, region, uh, NPC worldwide yeah, show yeah. or pro qualifier, uh, I mean, for as a Different pro yes or, yeah. they can travel and so we're trying to help them with Bring visas them yes as much as we can but yeah that's the most part which you know really touching me because you know i mean i know they want to compete and so i'll I'll do my best to bring more show to russia you know and who knows maybe some pro Olympic qualifiers so f because now there's a lot of pro yeah. in Russia and um, hopefully they will get their visa to United States <laughs> you know it's funny because uh, I like when I ask you a question and you always answer based on your perspective and you kind of switch the question around and, and talk about the athletes and how great it is for them but I would love to be able to talk to someone from over there like your mom or your dad and ask them 
how do people feel about you? Because when you, and I, and I was, the reason why I was saying that is because I was asking Jay, I, I met Jay's sister recently. She actually came from Massachusetts and stuff. So I'm always curious when someone comes from small town that no one knows and they go all the way to the top of the sport and they became these ch super champions. How do people from back home, when they knew them, when they were no one, nobody, <laughs> see them later? It's, uh, it's got to be so cool. I'm sure that, you know, you kind of put your city on the map as far as, you know, fitness and bodybuilding. They must be so proud of you over there. You're not going to tell me, but I would love to ask someone who knows you, <laughs> with it, like your sister or your mom. You know what I'm saying? And they're not going to say you anything, you know, because this time they were pretty upset with me because I was, I was so busy all day, all night, yeah, no trust me. Them. And they were patient because they see how serious it is. And yeah. at the end, they said, okay, like, you didn't spend time with us at all, you know? <laughs> you didn't bring us even to the restaurant. I'm like, Dad, <laughs> next time. Yeah, they was pretty upset, you know? Right. They proud of me, of yeah. course, because they saw all the show, the all the yeah. athletes, you know, and they was like, oh my God, you know, it's Thank amazing, you. yeah. But for them, I'm a daughter first, I and know. for me, they my parents. I know. So, and I know I have to change and spend next time, spend more time with them. Are they still coming here? When's the last time? Oh, they can't travel. Can they no. come here or no? No, right okay. now, because it's, you know, still they not. have to continue on their okay. visas, and now there is no way for mm. now for okay. Russians to travel okay. in the United States. They like the United States. They like coming here, huh? Yes, absolutely. Your absolutely. I, they always remember San Diego, you know, because we were staying there for a couple of days, and it's my dad favorite place yeah, yeah. he go. could fishing he could have <laughs> whatever he want to do uh, riding bicycle like yeah it it it's they always remember about this all right well Oksana, i'm really excited for you to go back to the arnold to go back to the olympia um uh, so t tell me um you are equal yeah you're, you're miss olympia so you qualified for life for the olympia i was gonna ask you do you know when you win, when you uh, place in fitness, is it the top two or three, or who qualifies for the following years? I know you want it, so you can go back. But as far as placing, because I know bikini, you have to win the Olympia to go back the following years. If you're just, you know, used to be top five or top three, could go, but now it's just you have to win. So do you know how it works wow. with fitness? Uh, I wouldn't lie because I'm not sure okay. for 100 yeah. percent. Qualified yeah, for I life. The so. first place qualify for Olympia yeah. in fitness, yeah. but I'm not. Yeah, that's okay. what I know for All right. sure. All right, well, that's exciting. So, so we're on the oranges. Uh, so the Arnold is how many weeks from now? Like three, four, four, Arnold, five? No, no, five. Six, five. Weeks. six weeks. Six weeks okay. until Arnold, and I believe eight weeks until Olympia. Okay, so they're Seven. just one week apart. Arnold I think two weeks. Two, two weeks, weeks apart. apart. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Oksana, thank you so much for coming back on JTV to do a quick update. I hope that it doesn't take so long next time for us to film again. Maybe even next time we can, you know, do some, some training at Scott's or whatever. Are you still training at Scott's or where do you work out right now? Yes, I'm yeah. still training at Scott's gym and also practice my routine in my place, LA Fitness, you know, now because, of course, they require to wear mask, but... I take it off because no one around, everybody yeah. is afraid of so me. You're a rebel. Practice. You're a rebel. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah, that's, uh, and I want to thank Jay Cutler TV and all fans, guys. Uh, thank you so much. And of course, my sponsor, Site Tech Nutrition. Yes, congratulations. How long have you, have you been with them? Let's talk about that. Um, they start to support me, like, I think a year. For, 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 for six months. Six months? Yeah, <laughs> Boris helping me. Awesome. Yeah, for six months, they're absolutely amazing, supportive, and great. it's great product. You know, William bon Bonac uh, also yes. with them, yeah. And uh, I'm just proud to be SciTech athlete, yeah. 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 Well, we're so excited for you. Congratulations. Keep an eye out for Oksana at the Arnold coming up very soon, and then the Olympia. I can't wait to see you. I won't be at the Arnold, but I will be at the Olympia. Uh, in uh, Florida, so I can't wait to see you. They my Max Six with the Queen of Fitness, Oksana Grishina, and, and we're out. Chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out.